Fashion Group International is able to bring together uh, really the best group of designers and uh, people in the fashion business together for one really glorious night. I think it starts with the fact that Fashion Group was established by women uh, to advocate uh, women in the creative arts and now it's uh, a force to be reckoned with uh, in the fashion community. We're here to support our uh, dear friend Carolina Herrera um, and uh, honor her. It's a very exciting day. It's cool because they're honoring um, Nicola um, Maramati who is, you know, has just the best clothes for women. It is worth it because my father-in-law has founded this company 60 years ago and we're already in the third generation. Being honored for this tonight is quite special. Well, it's awesome because they give the freedom to people to be where they are and celebrating them. So it's kind of beautiful. And that's what tonight is all about, celebrating those people and making them know they're worth it. Um, I'm here tonight to present the Oracle Award to Loren Scott, who is a, a long time and dear friend. Tonight, this event is very glamorous. You can see all the stars arriving, and it's like the Oscars for fashion. Hi, I'm Renee, and I'm here tonight to help celebrate my friend Carolina Herrera. Tonight, we celebrate the dream catchers. At Tiffany, we decided to walk away from gold from Bristol Bay, silver from the Cabinet Mountains, rubies from Myanmar, diamonds from Zimbabwe, and coral from the world's threatened coral reefs. Closer to home, the Tiffany Foundation has supported Friends of the High Line and the Battery Conservancy to restore green spaces here in New York and in cities throughout the world. Our accomplishments in this area bring a sense of satisfaction and hope that other jewelers and other companies will join us and that we'll enlist other governments and countries to ensure that nature will always astonish and inspire. Again, thank you for honoring us. Since forming Seldorf Architects in, to, in New York over 20 years ago, Annabelle has established a reputation for work that is sensitive to context and program, thoughtful in execution, and timeless. She and it's evenings like tonight and organizations like Fashion Group International which encourage us to come together and inspire us to push even harder for design and excellence in all of our pursuits. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the editor-in-chief of Harper's Bazaar, Glenda Bailey. And I have no reservation about Derek's incredible talent and how much he deserves this award. They say clothes make the man, but Derek makes clothes that make the woman. Thank you to Margaret and the entire fashion group committee for this amazing award and evening, and especially to Mary Lou, who has been my champion. She has been my champion and so many designers through the years. She is a living treasure in this community. Uh, lastly, thank you all. Um, I will continue to work hard to really deserve this recognition. Thanks. Words used to describe Gareth are avant-garde, rebellious, classic, beautiful, edgy, glamorous, different, unique. Also, I'd like to say a really big thank you to, to Mac um, and obviously to, to John for presenting me this tonight. And, um, yeah, like I said, it's a, <laughs> it's a really big honor for me to be here and I'm not the best speaker, so I hope you have a lovely night and thank you. I think Haider is great. He's one of the very few really new designers. I don't add the word young designer because in a way it's an insult if you need that label. He's just a great designer and a great friend. So I'm happy to be here and happy to give him this prize. He really deserves. I would also like to thank particularly Monsieur Lagerfeld 
<laughs> Carl, who has given me the great honor of presenting me this prize. I'm not very strong in words, so I will borrow them from someone else. As Yoko Ono said once, dream your dream alone, it's only a dream. Dream your dream together is reality. So thank you, Fashion Group International, New York, and my little team outside there for making believe in my dream. Thank you so much, and thank you, Paul. Because James has always been a storyteller who breathes life into this brand that he so obviously adores through his enthusiasm for the alternative, the innovative, the pop, and the risky. And oh yes, the fabulous. And fortunately, I am really, really lucky to work in a company, Mac, that allows me to continue to make dreams happen and challenging conventional thought. And as Dolly Parton said in a recent interview, dream more, learn more, care more, and most importantly, be more. Thank you so much. Karen thinks big. She is not afraid of being bold and creative. She has the confidence to know what to change, and she has the insight to know when things should remain the same. The past and the present are intersecting beautifully tonight. It is fitting that one of the founders of the Fashion Group International was the legendary Vogue editor, Edna Woolman Chase. She was a big fan of Neiman Marcus, and in fact, she came to Texas in the mid-1920s, which must have been a real shock to her to come to Texas in those days. And she exclaimed, I dreamed all of my life about the perfect store for women, and then I found Neiman Marcus, and my dream came true. It seems like every time I put on a Max Mara dress or a coat or a suit, it enhances what I am. It doesn't hide what I am. And so it is with great pleasure that I present the Brand Heritage Award to Max Mara and to Nicola, Nicola Maramati. But I'm referring to something very particular that we really inherited from my father-in-law. Values. He left values to us. Our values are passion for what we are doing, love for quality, and constant research of excellence. Heritage is what gives us a solid background. Creativity and innovation is what keeps us going. We look forward to another 60 years of success in the business. So thank you for every recognition you have given us, and thank you for the future. Bye. The Fashion Oracle Award was created by Fashion Group International to salute today's stars of style. I always say about Loren that she builds a dress for everyone, that there isn't a woman I've met or have witnessed in a Loren Scott who doesn't look their very finest. I'd like to thank the Fashion Group International and Margaret Hayes. It's truly an honor to be here. Thank you, um, Lord and Taylor and Bonnie Brooks, for bestowing me with this wonderful award. So I said, as a fashion oracle, one must look into the future, but not necessarily while running naked through a cave like the Oracle of Delphi in the Greek myth. I prefer to be wearing something a bit more embellished with sequins or beads or a bit of color. Um, however, there is one thing I can predict and that is that a man only understands fashion if it has a waistline. Thank you very much. I want to congratulate Winton for his incredible achievements in life and for his life-changing work both on and off the stage. I am not only proud to present Winton with this well-deserved recognition tonight, I am honored to call Winton Marcellus my friend. And I'm just going to tell one story. I'm from the country. I'm from Little Farms, Louisiana, Brobridge, Louisiana, Hanson City, Little Towns. I grew up, people dressed very plainly. But on Sunday, they would break out those canary yellow suits, <laughs> lime green. You see colors you didn't even know existed in nature. 
sisters would come up with hats that looked like part of the Amazon was on top of them. And when they stepped, and when they stepped out there with those, with those threads on, they became more of themselves. That was my connection with fashion. And I know one thing for sure, of all the things that we encounter, of everything that exists in this world, the greatest thing that we will ever encounter is other people. Thank you very, very much. As a woman who has made such an impact, presiding brilliantly over a global empire, it is fitting that tonight she is honored and counted among the fashion group's illustrious superstars. Like all that she creates, Carolina is elegant and chic. She's effortlessly immaculate. She is clever, ready for any dance floor. She's beautiful and always so much fun. To use her favorite word, the word that makes her throw her head back and laugh and clap her hands, Carolina Herrera is divine. Margaret Hayes, thank you so much for all these years that you have dedicated to fashion and for all the support that you have given me since the very beginning of my career. And also, we have to thank all the fashion group for this very glamorous evening. Thank you so much. <laughs>